एवरीवन माय नेम इज हेमु नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू कवर हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट द लाइसेंस फाइल और वी कैन से बिपटेला लाइसेंस फाइल और सीरियल फाइल डॉट बिपटेला राइट दैट फाइल वी नीड basically to onboard your van is routers basically so how we can do that so to create this lab or to create this file you need something basically so first thing which you need is you need one cisco account now on that cisco account you have to log in basically into your cisco account and where you have to create this particular file so what i will do i'll go here i will just type software dot cisco dot com so it has already picked my credential in your case you have to put your credential like my username my email id is him at cnets dot com and i have to put the password once you will go here you have to click on a smart account or a smart software manager just or you will have a manage a smart account right you have to click on manage a smart account click on this place here and after that what you can do you can go to into virtual accounts here you can create one virtual account so let me just create one virtual account here like sd1 test account so i will give sd1 test i will put the same description at top level access is private right click on next click on next here i don't want to assign anyone here create this virtual account so my sd1 test virtual account is created now what i will go i'll just go back to my cisco dot software central here now at this point what you will you have to do you have to go to into manage license so when you will go inside this manage license it will take you here you can click on this cnets so right now we are not able to switch from here go back to your cisco software central and here you have you will get plug and play this option plug and play click on plug and play and manage devices now here you can select the newly created account which is sd1 test now here first we have to define the controller profile guys so we will add one controller profile i want to add my b bond details so i will select here b bond you can if you are using pnp you can define plug and play server wlc i am going with b bond click on next now here you have to define your profile name basically so what i want i will give here cnets as divan or oh, let me just give give some small name here cnets hyphen test basically i'll just give this name put the description as well here default profile yes leave all these details setting now you have to define here organization name so just define your organization name which is cnets so guys what i have to define this organization name which is cnets and this is the name you remember we have defined into your basic configuration right if i run this command so run system this is the organization name we have defined right cnets.com so guys right now i i have to define the same name here cnets right and what here i have to give provide the fqdn of my b bond or either ip address of my b bond so i will define the ip address of my b bond and my b bond ip address is 10.1101.10 if i'll define with that if i'll click on next 
you will see i am getting some error here see organization is already exist so this organization is already exist on my main account basically so what i will do i will just put here cnets1 click on next click on submit click on done because see why we were getting that error if you go into sd1 lab this account here i already have one controller profile this is the controller profile i am having right if you will check in this controller profile i have already decide, defined my organization name so that was the reason i was getting that error okay because we have to define the unique name basically in your controller profile now you can go back to your sd1 test here and after that you come back to this devices now from here we will add the device into your cisco account basically how we can add the devices i want to add some software devices because i am having all vms add the software service but i want to add some vs router so i will type here vs cloud dna how many i want to add around 12 vs devices so i will give that number here 12 controller profile i want to put this particular controller profile save add some csr type here csr so you will get here CR, csr 1kb i want to add around 4 csr controller profile is sd1 test click on add here now let's suppose i also want to add some isrv i will just type here isrv i want to add around four isrv on this controller profile i will add and save here now let's suppose i also want here some c8000 series devices so i will put here c8000b i want four devices on my controller click on save click on next click on submit so i have requested cisco to provide me around 12 biptela vh devices which is these ones i have requested i fuse is4 isr for csr devices right and right now you can see right now i have sent this request to them and they are just processing it right so you can refresh it and in some time you will see all your devices has been provisioned select a 25 and now you can able to see all your devices see you can able to see all your devices and after that what do you have to do come back to your controller profile right and from this control profile you can download this particular file here basically i am using newer version right so i will click on download and you can save this particular file here i'll give the name to this file here. so this is the original name like serial file dot but i am you i i have created this file for the test account right I will give the name CNETS hyphen test, then serial file dot biptella, right? Click on save here. And guys, now if I will try to open this particular file, or if I will basically do the license with this file, this file will not work basically for me because organization name is here CNETS1. So otherwise, what I have to do, I have to change the organization name on my all your devices here. Or what we can do, if you will see, I do have another account, which is sd one Lab. So I will just go into my sd one Lab account here. Devices. So 
so just it is just fetching the see i also have here some vh routers some csr routers right some isr routers i have all all that kind of devices here as well basically so we can able to see the list here see this is the entire list right some isr series some vs cloud some csr series right i have these devices if you want you want to request so i don't have here c8000 series devices so let me just request c8000 devices as well for my this particular controller next next and submit now cisco will provide me these devices as well done now after some time you will see c8000 devices is also provisioned right so i have all the devices now i'll go back to here into my controller profile and what if you will go inside this controller profile here i have the correct organization name which is cnets.com so i will also download this particular file okay i have to select the controller versions i am running all my controllers on 20.3.1 right so i will select this version 18.3 on newer now i have to select that file here so what i will do on this file i will say bear some name so let's suppose i will give here today's date it's 11th october serial file dot bitl i will select it and this is how guys we will generate the files this is how we have to create a virtual account and this is how we will download this provision file or serial dot bitl file basically now this is my v manager if you go into the van as list here so you can see i don't have any list here right so what i can do now i have here two ways either i can upload the downloaded file i'll go here i'll go into my sd van folder and i can upload this file this is the one way of doing this select here validate the uploaded vh list and send to the controllers i will click on this click on okay so you will see file upload failed there is some problem there is some unsupported chassis number right these are the unsupported chassis number right now so there is some problem with this file basically so let's go here go to into devices let's see so let me open all the devices so here you will get all the list according to me there is no problem with the chassis number and all okay so what i can do there is a one more way sync with the a smart account basically so you can also sync here you have to put your username and you can put the password and just click on sync sync is in progress if there is any problem we will get some errors here see same thing on sd van lab uh, syncing has been failed basically right syncing has been failed i'll go into my v manager exit out ping to cisco.com yeah, ping is working so why it's that sync is failing because i know this is failing due to that error only
so what i will do i will try to upload this particular file from my previous one this file is not having any anything like that because i have created multiple files here guys okay it is having around 24 devices and it has been fast i know why maybe it is throwing this error because you know the ca8000 devices i just added today so maybe whatever version i'm using here 20.3 maybe it is not supporting that format that is the reason okay so right now if you go here into your devices you can see we have some isr we have some csr and we have some vh cloud routers right so you will see we have around 24 devices here so this is how we have to do all this particular process guys this is how we have to create the serial.webtail file and we can upload it here basically into your v manager and v manager will also forward this file to your controller so if you go here or if you will go into your v manager if you run this command so control ballot v is you will get whole list here if you go into the controller right now and if you run the same command into your b bond here so b bond will not give you this so you have to run here so orchestration control or so orchestration ballot vss and you will get the entire list because this list is also forwarded towards your b bond controller go here into your v smart and try to run the command so control ballot v is list and you will get that this particular list here as well okay so your v, v manager he has a, a, a he has basically uploaded these list of your vanish routers to your, all your controllers okay so this is the entire process of licensing your cisco sd1 devices basically thank you guys